once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, the holidays are now behind us mm -hmm. and we can get focused on the new year. We can. It's we're hopefully we're ready. <laughs> and winter has finally hit. I saw some statistics where we had the warmest December in history. Yes. I mean it was fifties and sixties and then as soon as January hit, we dropped. And I'm sure that throughout the next couple of months during the winter months we'll be talking about different ways people can do things to make their home more attractive in the winter. There's not much attractive in the winter time. <laughs> There's not. I actually showed some people property uh, yesterday and it was that was part of the conversation was this isn't the best time of the year to look. You're not looking at flowers. You're not looking at green grass. The curb appeal is gone but there are always things you can do to improve the look of your house even in the winter. Okay. Now, since it is winter and we're mm -hmm. going to talk about looking at houses, let's show them some. Let's do it. All right, the first one that we're going to talk about today is probably the newest house that you have. It is. Not the newest listing, but literally the newest house. The newest <laughs> construction. We've actually touched on this one before at mm -hmm. Keyser Heights, but all we had before to go on were drawings. Exactly. Not today. Not today. Today we actually have the pictures of uh, the finished product so everybody can look at it. Now with the weather, of course the yard is going to look a little prettier when in the upcoming time. But besides that, you can look through the pictures and you can see the interior of the house, some of the finishes that they did, mm -hmm. the open style layout. You can actually see that in the pictures. And like I said, this is one that we've shown the pictures of. Mm -hmm. And you can know that this you're going to be the first person that's ever lived in this house. Um, it was built to sell. Exactly. Built to sell by a local contractor. And uh, like you said, you're going to be the first person that's ever lived in this house. So all the finishes are going to be yours and yours alone. And I love by the pictures, you can see that the contractor chose neutral colors. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure that's what you tell people anyway. If you're going to sell your house, stay neutral. Because someone can come into this house and put their own finishing touches, accent colors, and it can fit anybody's personality. Absolutely, absolutely. And like I said, this is, it's a it's an open layout, but it is kind of a neutral. You've got hand-scraped hickory flooring or tile throughout the entire house. Your uh, kitchen cabinets are a really nice uh, kitchen cabinet, mm -hmm. but again, they're fairly neutral. All the paint colors are fairly neutral, so anybody can come in and make this house their home very easily. Anybody from a couple to a family because mm -hmm. it's a nice size home. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. That's correct. Uh, over 1,600 square feet. So not a small home by any means. It's not. And you do have a little bit of outdoor space. You've got a back deck um, off of the kind of the great room, the living room right there. Um, you do have some yard space if you wanted to do a swing set or something mm -hmm. like that. You have plenty of room for that as well. So I guess the best way we could describe this one is just a clean slate. It is. <laughs> it's just ready for you to come in and make your own. Yes, and we would love for you to do that. Okay. one ninety nine nine under two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars for this brand new construction at Keyser Heights in Pikeville. Uh, and Jennifer, this your listing? This is mine. So is. give you a phone call at then give me a call in the Pikeville office. That number is 606-437-2333. And when you call Jennifer, make sure you list uh, mention that MLS number, which mm -hmm. is one zero five eight nine six. Sounds good. All right, moving along then, we're going to stay in Pike County for mm -hmm. this next listing. Um, and this one's at Collie Hills. It is. This is a newer listing at Collie Hills. I don't believe we've ever talked about it before. I think this is um, actually the newest listing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it is another three bedroom, two bath, uh, right over 1650 square feet, good size house. And it also has kind of that open floor plan where your living room, dining room, kitchen are all fairly open to each other. Which just now coming out of the holiday season, people are understanding if they don't have that, how much they would appreciate the open floor plan. <laughs> exactly. It makes having company over in the holidays just a little bit easier. And the convenience of where this is because mm -hmm. you aren't in the city limits of Pikeville. Right. Uh, where Collie Hills is just off of US 23. So mm -hmm. if you're going south on 23, before you get to the Shelby Valley School area, it's on the right up on the hill. Correct. Okay. That's correct. Very close to the school. And that's a popular area, popular neighborhood up there. It is. This, a this uh, area, a lot of people don't move in and out of there, but the ones that do, the houses tend to move fairly well. So your, your resale up there in the past has been a, a pretty good area for resale. 
The three bedrooms, two full baths, so mm -hmm. you've got a lot of room in this one as well. You do, and they've also done some upgrades to it. Um, they've just done, and I mean just finished, uh, new tile flooring in the kitchen and the bathrooms. It's kind of a contemporary tile, very mm -hmm. neutral, um, but very updated. There's a new kitchen countertop going in in the kitchen, new light fixtures throughout the house. So there's not a whole lot that you would have to go in and do. It's kind of like the other one. You can go in and personalize it, right. but there shouldn't be a whole lot that you have to go in and do just to move in. So this one's what you call move-in ready. Exactly. And I see you've got a fenced yard, too. Mm -hmm. So that opens you up to small children, pets, just feeling a little bit more secure in that area. Exactly. And this one actually sits on a fairly large lot. You have a little bit more privacy than some of the other uh, lots up there. It's a semi-private lot. So this one offers you a little bit of privacy in that neighborhood as well. Okay. Well, hopefully we've given somebody some ideas of wanting to call you or email you on this listing. I hope so. Um, let's throw your email address out there. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, one eighty-two, one hundred eighty-two thousand dollars for this one at Collie Hills, and of course, send Jennifer an email and make sure you mention one zero six three six six. That will pull this direct listing right up. That's correct. Okay, our next listing is also in Pike County, mm -hmm. and another one that is very convenient. Yes. And we've actually done this one before. We have. We have done this. I actually think we've done it a couple times, but this is one that needs to be repeated. People need to know that this house is still available because this is a great home that could really make somebody a wonderful home for their family. And you're looking at the pictures on your screen now, mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, this has so much space. Where is this home? And then when we're going to tell you, you're going to say, no, there's no way that that backyard is there. Right. You'll see that it says Boulders East, mm -hmm. but where that is is actually on Buckley's Creek. Correct, so, right across from Town Mountain Road, mm -hmm. and it sits right up on the hill above that, and like you said, they can see from the pictures, you, from the road, you can't tell how much space that there is, especially in the backyard. Mm -hmm. From the pictures, you can. And this one is one that like we said on the last listing, coming out of the holidays, mm -hmm. you've realized you either have a great house for entertaining <laughs> or you need one. Yeah. And this is one that is great for entertaining. It really is. Inside the house, you've got the kitchen, a large kitchen that opens up to a family room um, that's a real nice open space. And that's all on the back of the house, which opens up to the great picture that you can see mm -hmm. on the screen of the pool with the patio and the backyard that's all fenced in. Right. And this is a large home, um, mm -hmm. 2,500, over 2,500 square feet. Four bedrooms, but I love them when they always say large master suite. Yes, and this one does have a very large master suite. So you could easily do, you know, king size bed with the large furniture and have more than enough space. And that, I bet you hear that a lot, is mm -hmm. people will look at a home and their furniture their home that they have now, and they're like, it's just not going to fit. Right. Because right. bedroom suits can tend to be a little large. They can be a little large, and you know, you never know how a house is going to be built. So this is one that you're going to be able to get all of your furniture in there and still have a little bit of moving room. And then extra space is, is you've got this two-car attached garage. Mm -hmm. And where we're coming into the winter, <laughs> it's really nice to know that you can go out in the mornings and you don't have to scrape snow off of it. Because eventually we'll get snow. Absolutely. And even <laughs> the frost, which you do have to do right now. So I know we've given everybody something to think about on this one. With everything that you're getting, uh, the, the space, the in-ground pool, the yard, the garage, for under $270,000. That's correct. So we can call this one a bargain. Absolutely. Please do. <laughs> okay. I give you a call on this one? Yes. Please give me a call in the Pikeville office, 606-437-2333. All right. 105440. We'll let Jennifer pull that listing straight up. Okay. Now, the next one is another one that I think we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. This one I like because it's a community I like. It's Lower Johns Creek. Yes, yes. This one's located at Lower Johns Creek, and we have talked about it before. Uh, I think we've only talked about it once before, though. Mm -hmm. And this is one that is very deceiving as well with the amount of space that it offers. And this sits in a very convenient location um, on Lower Johns Creek. You're mm -hmm. right off Lower Johns Creek on Pinson Branch, which is directly across from the Joe's Creek Park. If you're familiar okay. with that area, everybody kind of knows where that is. So it's actually a very convenient location. Depending on which way you want to go out of Johns Creek, you're kind of in that central central area. And that's one of the unique things about this community is that you can access it from a few different areas. So mm -hmm. if you're coming from Floyd County, 
You can go up Airport Road. Absolutely. And, and access it that way from Pikeville. There's a couple different ways to mm -hmm. go in too. This one has a lot of outdoor space. They've got a sunroom off the back. You could easily do a hot tub or something like that mm -hmm. out there. They have it set up as an extra dining room, um, so you kind of got all the view around you. And then on the front of the house, there's also a picture of this. You have a very nice, large, covered front porch right. that's tiled and almost made like a second living room. So you're looking at the square footage and you're seeing it's 1823 on the square feet, but mm -hmm. that's not including this outdoor space that we just talked about. It's not, and that it really is utilized very, very well with this house. So that's really something that people need to know, that there is outdoor space that you're going to be able to use. Well, so hopefully somebody that's looking in the Lower Johns Creek area will like this three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bathroom home. Yes, and something else to mention, it does have a basement, okay. partially finished, so there's even more space added on to that 1,800 square feet as well. Well. This is one of those homes that's just hard in the, the time that we have mm -hmm. in the four pictures that we show uh, to really show what all this house has to offer. Honestly, it is. This is one I highly recommend that somebody take a look at if they're interested in that area. Okay. Now, give shoot you an email or give you a call either one in the Pikeville office? Absolutely. Either one of them. They can just call the Pikeville office or email our office, whichever is easiest. Okay. And then the price? We saved the best for last. Mm -hmm. One seventy four nine. Yes. Great price on that house. Okay. So that MLS number on that, 105759, will take you straight to that house on Pinson Branch. All right, we're going to end the show now moving in Floyd County. So we're going to go north on 23, and mm -hmm. I love this listing as well Yes, in Betsy Lane. Yes, this is a great house. Honestly, this house has so much space, and we were talking a little bit before the show. The thing that I love personally about this house more than anything is the mm -hmm. size of the rooms. The rooms oh, yeah. in this house are very, very spacious. So it, it really makes the house feel even bigger on the inside because you just have a lot of good space to use. And then the address says Branham Hill, mm -hmm. but where that is, is there's a red light right there in Betsy Lane if you're familiar with the dairy bar. Yes. That is on the right <laughs> if you're going north. You said it's just basically on the hill above that. That's right? correct. Yeah. And you'll see Pinson, or uh, Branham Hill, the sign right there close to the dairy bar. And this is a large home, uh, almost mm -hmm. 3,000 square feet, four large bedrooms um, on that main first floor, too. And that's something that a lot, of, a lot of people like to see. Exactly. And this one, like you said, it is a large home. You do have those four bedrooms. You also have a family room in the basement, mm -hmm. and that's where your utility room is. There is a laundry chute from the main floor where the bedrooms are down to the utility room, which people love. Oh, I, I can imagine that being <laughs> the most popular part of the show. Yes, <laughs> people love seeing the laundry chute. And then over top of a couple of the bedrooms, they actually finished up some attic space, and oh. that's not included in the square footage, but would make a really nice craft room or playroom or even an office. And it's a really, really nice space that guests won't even know is there or around so you can kind of make it your own space. you got a little extra garage space. You do. You have extra garage space and then you've got, you know, in the picture, I think we've got a picture of the backyard with mm -hmm. the, the custom stone grill that they did and the outdoor space back there. So this one has a, so much potential that if anybody is looking for that Betsy Lane area, that convenience right there on 23, this is really a house they need to look at. And Betsy Lane's convenient to Prestonsburg and mm -hmm. Pikeville. Um, even Paintsville you could throw into the mix. Uh, and a lot of people commute for work. And Absolutely. Not everyone, as far as a couple, works in the same place. Some mm -hmm. work in Pikeville, some work in Prestonsburg. This would be great for that. Three oh three nine, three hundred three thousand nine hundred dollars uh, for everything you're getting. Not a bad price at all. Uh, this one's located on Branham Hill in Betsy Lane, mm -hmm. and 105-954 is that MLS number. That's correct. I think out of the five listings we touched on today, We've got something for everyone. I hope so. That was the idea. Okay. And all <laughs> these today, we're out of the Pikeville office, so give Jennifer a call mm -hmm. or shoot her an email. She'll be able to show you these or any other listing in all of East Kentucky. That's correct. All right. I'm going to step out and let you do your real estate minute. Are you interested in possibly selling your property, but you aren't sure where to start? Our real estate minute this week focuses on the listing process. First, make contact with one or more realtors. I recommend meeting more than one realtor to discuss the process, the current market, and to complete a comparative market analysis on your property. Second, 
choose a realtor you trust and you feel will push your property to possible buyers. Next, complete any needed repairs that could affect a sale or financing. Your realtor can assist with finding items that could present a future issue. And finally, complete the listing paperwork and be patient. Our local market typically requires time to move properties, so be prepared by discussing that with your realtor. As always, Ray Brown and Williams would be honored to assist you with the listing and selling process. Feel free to contact any of our four offices in Eastern Kentucky to speak to a realtor. Thank you for joining us this week and Happy New Year.